Hey guys, um, just want to show you this little tutorial. Um, I figured out by myself how to add on my edit my page those additional data fields. In this case, it's just the likes fields and the dislikes field, but we can add as many fields as we want. And I want to show you how I did this. And uh, yeah, let's start this. Um, you see, this is a local installation on my on my hard drive. So for this, we need um, a service like XAMPP. So install that, get it from the internet for free and install it on your uh, PC and open it up. And we need another program. It's called Visual Studio Code. This is for editing the code. And this is a perfect program. I love this very much. This is really good. So that's even free uh, to download and uh, yeah. I'm using those both. So obviously you have to, to install and start uh, your Apache and my SQL, and then you, you, you go on admin and open up the SQL page. In this case, um, I'm already have installed uh, the data. And if you do not have installed the sponsor on your drive, you can find it uh, made it very easily by doing here, like adding a user, user account. And then from there, it just, create a, with the same user account name, you create a, um, a database and then you install <coughs> install this, okay? So I have already installed it and um, I saved it up in the folder on my hard drive, tata.com and it should open up like this, right? So I'm gonna log in as admin, I think the basic login is just one, two, three, four, five, six admin. Yeah, let's have a look. Okay, obviously there's some file missing. Doesn't matter. Ah, yeah, some something is missing here. Something is not working. But let's um, now let's double check this. Okay, I open it, but uh, let's double check this. For um, editing this um, website, we have to go to Visual Studio Code Editor and open here folder. And uh, in my case, I have to open the folder. I have installed uh, the script and it usually is in my XAMPP folder. And within the XAMPP folder, I have to go to HDDocs and then the folder I have saved my sponsor installation. This is this one. So first what I do, just double check the environment uh, uh, file. Everything is okay. Uh, ah, here, that's the problem. This is the problem. It should be um, yeah, our .com. So, and save it. Let's just double check the site again. Reload it. Yeah, now everything is perfect. Okay. That was the first step, so um, if you have installed that, you won't uh, even have those problems. Now, how to add here a new um, yeah, chapter whatsoever. We have already opened up our uh, installation folder. In this case, my folder is called tata.com. And um, yeah, we need following files. First, what we do, we jump back to our database, our PHP My Admin, and we need to add two new rows to this table. For that, we have to click on our database, find the table users, okay, and then click on structure. So, and scroll down to the bottom. Now we need two new rows for likes and dislikes. So we click two and um, add behind after this chord. So give this a name. It's up to you what you want to give it. I give this the name my likes. And I will give the other one my dislikes. So this will have the variable character type. And uh, maybe let's say it's 200 characters long. 
and the correlation will UTF-8 be UTF-8 and general and here the same UTF-8 and general value okay so save this and we are done we have added successfully two new rows and have therefore prepared our database to do this job so that's for that let's go and uh, yeah let's go and edit the site yeah the edit my page so we are in our edit my page play.php and have to find the section where this will appear so in this case when you look here we have profile social so when you want to find the appropriate place just click on uh, control F and maybe just type social enter and then you see already here here we are um, trans admin profile underscore social that means this is a placeholder for the word what we will be finding here and actually it's that one this one this word and with the different uh, kind of languages this will change into the appropriate language so our script does say to us please get the word from the admin translation file admin dot profile this is why we have to open up this one because we need to create a new one and uh, this we will do so when you look at the website I just want to add the same form, the same form, the same layout like this, those two tables. So why not just to copy the Facebook and the Twitter table row and just duplicate it and put it uh, behind the billing information and in front of profile so social. So this is what I'm going to do. For this, I'm checking out the code and I find, oh, that sounds good. I need to duplicate this one here, the row with the with the, the, um, the, the title and the first two still here just click control C for copying and uh, hit enter and just fill it in so now we have done this and uh, the next thing is now we have uh, to change um, this one into an appropriate word for us. So let's let's name that just maybe additional infos. Info, so additional underscore info. So then let's head over to our admin because we have to add that now here. Just hit enter, single quote, additional subline info and um, the equals and uh, oops sorry and again single quote and now give it the English name for it yeah, obviously the same additional info let's write it in a capital letter so a little tip for you i don't like the uh, the look of it's not really convenient to watch so in this nice program in this visual code editor you can do following thing for example highlight this one you see these instances we have a couple of times so to get them all at once click Control, shift and l and then open up the command open a control shift p and find a line here it's already here and just enter a line now it looks much more convenient be careful we need the comma at the end and uh, yeah that's it we are done so far we can save this if you want to have this in other languages you have to translate this part of the of that line into the language of your choice the upper one not the left side you keep it like that okay so we have done this so far. The next thing would be, um, now we have um, the new role that, that will be, this one will be our likes and this one will be our dislikes, okay? So first we change the likes 
So let's give this a name, just my likes. And uh, because the value of this of this uh, input field is is actually the the, row, the name of the row, what we have created here, this one, my likes. So I will give this the, the name my likes, my likes. And uh, here we have the same thing. We call this my dislikes. And uh, remember, we named the SQL table row my dislikes. So this is from the SQL table. Yeah, to put it into the SQL table. Okay, this is done. For placeholder, we want to replace this. We look at our website here. For example, this is just a link, but here, after entering something, then this company name will disappear instead of this will be then the name you have entered and saved so far. So let's have a look at the code. How does it look up there? We can already see, for example, here, placeholder trans general address. That means that will be pulled a word from the language file general, that's the general PHP, under the line address. So let's do the same here. We copy this one. We copy and go just down and replace it. So now we have to create a new line for this new fields. Go to over channel PHP. So we copy the line so two times and uh, this I give the same thing here. It should be, uh, what do you want to write there? We call it first my likes. And here's what you want to read on the side in this field. I'm talking about this one, what you want to see here. If I delete this, is what I like. This is what I see if there is no data stored. So, what I like. I just write here what I like. What I like. And obviously, my dislikes is I write what I dislike. That's all. Don't forget the comma at the end. If you want to order this one getting a little better shape, same thing. Highlight, Control Shift L, and then Control Shift P, and align and execute. So that looks much more ordered and better to read. Okay, this is perfect. Um, maybe I, I hit the Enter and give here just some additional info. Um, my added stuff. Okay, save it. Um, sorry, here we set my likes. Was it my likes or my like? I'm not sure. My likes, it's correct. My likes and my dislikes. Perfect. So no matter what you have written there, the script will pull these words into the website. That's perfect. The only thing what we have to change is the icon. The icon, what we see here, this one. This one we need a thumbs up and a thumbs down. You find that actually on Font Awesome 4. You have to look for that website fontawesome.com slash v4 icon. And then in this case we have the iClass. You can copy the entire code and have copied this. 
And actually, I know that in this case, it will be this, almost the same. Oh, shit. But only thumbs up. It should be that. Okay. So we have prepared this so far. It should be fine. Let's save it. And now we have to jump to our controller for the last step. And we have to use um, and edit this. We need to find yeah, update settings page. This is where we have to go. So you see already we have to edit here two new fields. Um, since we we have the same orders, I will I will put my my stuff here after a company, but you can put it at the end. It's not doesn't matter. Uh, just copy the line and paste it twice. So the first one is my likes. That's the name from the SQL database. And even here, I have to take it back to read the, the, the um, database out. My likes. And here's my dislikes. My is likes and you have to change it again my is likes hmm. so and up here you have to do the same thing this line duplicated one and two and then let's switch the table name my likes and let's say at least three letters and at least 200 characters and then my dislikes and the same thing here at least three letters up to you but here we define 200 letters and characters so we are done this is what we had to do here and um, yeah now hit the save button and uh, let's jump over to our website. So let's write something. Cars and bikes. And here maybe whatever. Walking. Oh. Save. head over to our database just to refresh this and you see it's saved here cars and bikes walking that's it my friends hope that will help you and have fun with editing your stuff super have a nice day bye